Hey everyone, welcome to Afterwards. Um, it's kind of a bittersweet afterwards for me because uh, this is gonna be my last one for a little while. Uh, just gonna let someone else sit in the chair for a little bit, give myself a chance to play. Um, so this episode was kind of good in that respect because it sort of let me touch on a lot of characters, set up all the pieces so that um, they'll be ready when I come back. Um, this episode was fun. Um, it was a fun one to go out on, at least for a little while. Um, because I will be back, I'm sure. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely planning to come back because all the pieces now are set up to uh, get Rasper out of the out of the ranch timeline. Um, fun episode to go out on because it was prom, um, and I've wanted to go to Farnfoss for a while because I sort of had this idea of I started to build this town. Like, what if it was just a prom thing? But then rather like okay, rather than like have it be a meta. Thing. What if there was an actual in-world reason for these characters to behave this way? Like if there was an in-world reason for there to be prom, it's like, well, what if someone's looking into our world and is sort of inspired by what they see? Um, and so I sort of invented this race of creatures that, uh, that do just that. They just watch the worlds and they're cursed to never, uh, to never travel there. Um, so I absolutely loved uh, this whole episode. I, again, I felt like I was pushing everyone too fast. I wanted to give everyone more time to breathe. Um, and I wasn't able to do that just because I was trying to like get through the whole setup. Perhaps I could have gotten through the setup faster to get to the other stuff faster. Cause I wanted, I wanted everyone to joust and I wanted everyone to have more time to dance and have more time to interact. Um, and unfortunately there wasn't as much of that as I would have hoped, but, um, you can't, you can't win them all. Um, so yes, I absolutely I loved this. I'm glad we that uh, Kevin reminded me of uh, Ansma. That is sort of um, with this many players plus NPCs, it gets kind of difficult to juggle all that. So I'll have to figure out how to handle that in the future. Uh, but yeah, we got we got prom. We solved this mystery, um, and I think all the pieces are set up. Uh, to do some really interesting things when we come back. This season has been a season of building, uh, of building this world. I think except for Pearlshaw and Bredon, we've now been to every single, s oh, and Owlton. So there's only three cities left that now we haven't seen on the Fane Coast and we don't have like a pretty intimate knowledge of. We know people in Haddock, we know people in Cromer, we know people in Farnfoss, we know people in, well, we don't know anyone in Coast Pass, but uh, we've sort of set up this coast a little better. We have a little bit of a better idea of what's going on in Marenton. I'm so excited to come back to this world because it's been such a joy putting it all together, uh, especially with the wonderful response that we get from you guys. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little nervous about, uh, about turning the reins over. Uh, but actually it's not the first time that I've, I've done that. I guest spotted, um, yesterday as the time of the shooting on um, on uh, Threshold Sunlight, which if you haven't checked them out, check them out. It's a really great podcast set in our same world whose stories kind of overlap and tie in with ours in, in fun ways. Uh, we coordinate uh, when we can to kind of have some, some fun synergy between us. Uh, but uh, so I sort of did that as like a little test run. So it's gonna be it's gonna be different sitting here at the table, not not being the one to say hey everyone. Uh, and so I'm 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 nervous about that, but I'm sure Kevin is gonna do a really great job because um, he he knows his stuff. He knows the rules probably better than I do. Uh, in fact, certainly better than I do. So I'm I'm really excited to see what he does, and I'm really excited to um, see what that is. Uh, and what that new adventure will be for for all of us. Um, and it'll be exciting to see threshold uh, the world of the strip grow from another from another corner uh, after kind of putting a little button with going to every different place on the mirror, um, kind of showing us one more time everyone what they're up to. Um, there's a lot of great pieces and I'm very excited to set them up. So thank you guys for sticking with me for the last, um, I guess, year and a half of, of Threshold. Uh, I'm gonna turn it over for a little while, but uh, I, I really hope to be back. Um, so again, thank you, and thank you for helping us continue to grow. Please, whenever you can, uh, share this with your friends who might be interested in D&D, &D or your friends who maybe um, 
have never heard of D&D Who, but you think it might be up their alley. Um, we've had a lot of people, it's kind of an easy way to show that, you know, it can be, it can be fun, it can be cool, um, and we can have a good time. So, um, thank you again. I, I, I'm just rambling now. Thanks very much. I will, uh, I'll see you in the new year and I'll see you in afterwards. Uh, who knows? Uh, have a great rest of your week and a great rest of your year.